The Individual Research Report, also known as the IRR, is a 1,200-word essay that allows you to organize your research and potential solutions before you begin on the team multimedia presentation. In this paper, the argument is not the main focus, but the perspectives of the topic you choose with your group is. In the end, you want to find the most relevant information that will help you decide on a team solution later. The IRR is not only for you, but also for your teammates, so make sure to report the most important information and talk with your team to divide the perspectives on your topic. The preliminary research and the annotated bibliography are the core of your report. You want to put exactly what details you need here, so you don't waste time searching for your claims later. You need about 10 sources minimum in your annotated bibliography, but more is always better to have later on. Now, let's start with the introduction, arguably the hardest part of any written assignment. There are four main parts to your introduction, the hook, the context, the question, and the significance. The hook draws your attention to the paper. You can use an interesting fact or statistic that also introduces your context. The context is specific to the lens you are researching. What led you to wanting to find a solution for your problem? Then is the question, what is the problem you are trying to solve? And finally, the significance. What makes this problem a problem? Why should the general audience care about what you are trying to research? There are three recommended ways to organize your body paragraphs. Option one is to organize by perspective. This approach is suitable if you've identified at least three different stakeholders, such as parents, teachers, students, etc., anyone else, within your lens whose perspectives you want to compare and contrast. Option two is to weave perspectives throughout. This approach is suitable if you've identified at least three different stakeholders' perspectives, as in option one, but would prefer not to section off your paper by perspective. Option three is to organize topically. This approach is suitable if your sources could represent a multitude of perspectives on specific issues and subtopics that arise in your lens. For example, three problems that have resulted from the deinstitutionalization policies and each problem has its own section in the paper. The sources are used to explain each problem and offer potential solutions. In your conclusion paragraph, you will synthesize perspectives. This can be used for all three options above. A recommended solution is not necessary, but you may offer one which will help when you are deciding on a team solution later. If A gets their way, this will happen. If B gets their way, this will happen, etc, etc. Where do we go from here? What do we do with this information? You want to provide an image of what happens next. What happens if we act, react, or don't do anything? These are basically the implications to your perspectives. And that's about it. This is simply a report, not an argument, and acts as a base for what you will present within your group. Good luck!